Echo, Season 1, Episode 3, Thoughts. This episode is called Too Close. Another episode I love, like most things MCU, certainly have almost everything MCU that's, you know, hit streaming or TV or the like, that I've watched so far, haven't gotten to Inhumans and so forth yet. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to including this episode throughout this video. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, love the, the vintage opening as we see Tuklo, one of Maya's ancestors, you know, um, challenging gender roles and, in fact, ending up rescuing some of the other, I think they called them light horsemen, and I forget if I mentioned before, but I really dig the, the intro sequence to this show. Just really, really cool. Really sets a, a strong tone. And, yeah. Um, Scully is trying to flirt while Chula is trying to keep things serious. So, I don't know if that is accurate. I don't know enough about Native... Uh, yeah, Native American culture and Choctaw in particular. It's possible that that's it. It does feel like a, a MCU joke, but it's also possible that that's just like across. Yeah, across a lot of different cultures, that's the you know he's he sees this this woman that he is attracted to so. His mind goes there, even though you know right at, as soon as she says you know there's something wrong. It's Maya. He's like, yeah, I thought it might be Maya. So, you know, it's not coming as some huge surprise to him. He knows she's back. He's helped her. He's trying not to think about exactly what she's been doing with the stuff he's been helping her with, you know. And let's see. Yeah, and, and Maya is seemingly warned by her ancestors right before... She's taken captive, and later in this episode, when she's shooting people in the the rink, we again, you know, we we flash back to Tuklo doing the same. So it is very much. I've I've learned from watching. I forget if it was New Rock Stars, Screen Crush, or possibly both, but they've been doing videos talking about Easter eggs for these episodes, and they mentioned that ancestors are very important to Choctaw culture and they're doing a really great job you know it seems to me as someone who isn't Native American or indigenous at all you know but yeah this them working in the the ancestors she really does you know she has some incredibly badass women in her her line and, yeah, we get another scene. Yeah, so far, three episodes, three for three. Each of them has at least one sequence where we hear almost nothing. We're basically we're hearing the heartbeat, and that's basically, you know, yeah. And Bonnie shows up, and, you know, yeah, at first it's like, you know, I mean, she's going to stumble across this, but they, they free Henry you know, provided he makes sure she, she leaves immediately. And, you know, I quite enjoyed this variation on, because we've seen a lot of scenes where basically someone is trying to signal someone else. Maybe they speak in code. Maybe they, like, maybe it's the, the you know, they, they, like, make eye contact and then, like, you know, look, you know, they, they yeah, to, like, say, look over there, you know, kind of thing. He's using sign language, you know, he's, he's got his hand at, like, you know, uh, what's, like, like, um, hip level, but he's signing knowing that she speaks, you know, she, yeah, she's fluent in sign language. And he never did sign help us. Just putting that out there. And, yeah, Bonnie, of course, goes to, you know, call for, yeah, call it in and ends up 
tied up and we get a very tense reunion between the two cousins who were like sisters and I kind of love yeah you know she just straight up has like a knife hidden in the in the boot just yeah it's not every day that something reminds me so distinctly of the Jean-Claude Van Damme almost masterpiece, like so close to being a masterpiece from 1989, Cyborg. So I'm always grateful when it happens. But yeah, and you know, Bonnie points out, I emailed you, I sent you text messages, and you never responded. Even when your father died, you know, I could have been there for you. And it is very clear, you know, Bonnie remains this very emotionally intelligent, very in touch with her emotions, open person, whereas Maya, again, at least so far in the show, she continues, she's, she pushes her emotions down. You know, if she feels bad, she hurts someone or impotently fires a gun at a swing set, you know, and... Yeah, like I mentioned in my video on episode two, it's very much this thing of they they went through very similar trauma, but because Maya was being groomed for this organized crime life, whereas Bonnie had people around her who yeah, kept her from going down such a path, yeah. They they ended up going down very different paths. I quite like Henry trying to talk Vicky, to, you know, out of it. Like, you realize that you could still make it out of this. Like, I'm, I'm just saying it's not too late, you know. And, again, we've seen a lot of scenes like this. It really hit, in, in my opinion. It really, like... Because, cause, yeah, like, Maya is not someone that you just, you know, yeah, if you, you better come correct if you're gonna, and, let's see, yeah, you know, Vicky points out, you know, no, you you can't shoot Maya, you know, the, the bounty is for her to still be alive when they, they get there, and also, clever, you know, the the thing of again seen seen that seen other variations of the scene. By the way, that's not a criticism. I hope it's not coming across as you know. I'm I'm loving this yeah these variations on you know. But this thing of you know I'm going to 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 punch you to to give us you know more of fighting chance you know because they're not going to see that coming. They're going to see it coming if I charge at one of them. They're ready for that. You know, sure, they can't kill Maya. There's other things you can do with a gun that are going to hurt like hell. So, yeah, you know, like, she has, they're, they're, you know, if you if they shoot her in 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 the leg or, or you know, the arm or something, you know, that's not going to kill her, but she's going to really hate the, the intense pain of that. But but yeah, you know, having the having someone sign I'm going to hit you right before hitting them is a yeah. Haven't haven't seen that one before. And yeah, uh we see that let's see, I think Huh, for some reason she's not in the I think they called her the the subtitles uh called her Bridget. You know, Bridget is very ableist. I'm not going to be repeating the words she uses, but yeah, you know, and that makes us hate her even more and yeah, not mind so much when Maya attacks her. I love the weight of, you know, they're here, you know, just, yeah. And yeah. Vicky loses control of the situation to Zane immediately. Like, the moment Zane gets there, you know, just, yeah. And, and you know, I, 
I could be wrong, but my reading is there is a way that Vicky could have, you know, he could have come out on top of this situation because he wasn't lying. He did have her there, but he's being very, it's, it's giving rookie. It's like you've never, you're punching way above your weight. You have no idea what you're doing because, yeah, of course, Zane is not going to show up with a, Here's the money. No, that's not how it works. You know, this could be a trap. He doesn't know you. He has to make sure that this is legit before any money changes hands. Because otherwise, that this could be a trap and basically like a robbery. You know. But Vicky keeps saying, you, you have to give me the money. I have to, I have to get to count the money. And then I'll show you where Maya is. And yeah, eventually Zane is like, kind of sounds to me like you don't actually have her. You were just hoping that I would hand you the money and then you could run. And yeah, you know, he ends up getting shot because that's, yeah, the, they're not very forgiving. The, the, yeah, the mob. And... Yeah, I love Maya Lopez MacGyvering this, the, you know, cause, yeah, like, if you know what you're doing, yeah, as as far as I could tell, the, the thing she made is completely, you know, it's not like she made a rocket ship out of a box of matches and a, you know, and some Play-Doh or something. It, no, what, what she actually made was 100% legit. And Bridget is like watching a YouTube video on a hostage negotiation from what was it, Militia Mommies? Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. But it just wow. Honestly, I wouldn't rule out. I haven't been everywhere on YouTube. I wouldn't rule out that there's militia people giving directions for hostage. Oh my god. And yeah, it's. Maya sends the, the text message with, uh, you know, yeah, picture of Bridget tied up, and then, you know, the, uh, yeah, XO Maya. <laughs> and let's see. And that was also very cool, you know, she, and I appreciate that she, you know, she doesn't nail it the first time. And the first time she actually does miss because, you know, she's not used to using this type of weapon, but yeah, she manages to knock out the lights. And Bridget does the the one thing you really don't want to do in this situation, which is open the door that she was guarding. Because there's actually there's not actually any other way, as far as I could tell. There's no other way out of that room. But Maya knows, you know, she's she's observant. She she could tell from from you know yeah from observing Bridget. She has no idea idea what she's doing. She's completely out of her depth. This is not, you know, and that's not, that's not because she's a woman, but she's, she is a criminal, but she's not at, at all at the level that Maya is. So, yeah, Maya tricks her, and, and then she plays Dragula over the speakers. Never been unhappy to hear some, some Rob Zombie pump over a soundtrack. And, yeah, she's, I, I love that she actually rigged up, because they're like, ugh, the, the, uh, what are the, the, the circuits were, were flipped off, you know, you better flip them back on, and it's like, you really, you have no idea who you're dealing with, like, of course she rigged them, because that, again, if you know what you're doing, it's not super, I, I wouldn't know, I'm not saying I would know, but, yeah, you know, all she's doing is like, because there's already electricity in there. She's just making sure that the electricity... Let's see, I mean, I'm guessing... Yeah, since it's a circuit breaker, you know, like, normally the electricity doesn't go to the... You know, it, it goes away from but not into, and she just, she just redirected it, you know. Again, not like she did something that's completely out of the... You know, and, and yeah, once she's taken out that first one... The rest of them split up, and she can take them out one by one. Very satisfying, and love the long take. Love the part where she's out of she's out of ammo, so she just throws it and attacks. 
And yeah, we get some more brutal action. So far, each of these episodes has had at least some brutality and some action. And in episodes one and three, it's both in the same scene. In episode two, the brutality was the explosion. So after the action scene. But yeah, it's really delivering. And let's see. Then we have the... Yeah, you know, ultimately when Zane has Bonnie, um, Maya does give herself up. And... Yeah, he's just about to, to execute her. And then, you know, someone's on the cell phone. And immediately his tone changes because he knows who he's talking to. And yeah, you know, it's clearly Fisk. You know, he's not like calling the shots. He's like, I? Uh, yeah, no, no, I, I thought that I understand. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get out of here, you know, just completely, one hundred percent different from how he was talking to to Vicky, and Henry, you know, just yeah, and because because he knows that you know you do not screw with the kingpin, and yeah, Maya insists no cops, and. Yeah, Henry agrees that he will help her now, and that's, of course, you know, that's the thing that happens when you, you know, when you hurt someone that didn't do anything to you, and they're, like, you know, already a criminal, yeah, they might try to, to get you back for that. Henry had nothing to, he said no to her. You know, but he still ended up tied up, being threatened. You know, he could easily have taken a bullet when they're shooting Vicky with how close and, you know, line of fire and all that. And, yeah, Scully gets Maya the the new leg and she gets, like, a, a symbol that's, that's you know, important to the, the Choctaw. And... Yeah, very, very cool. And then we have the... Uh, yeah, yeah, she, you know, Scully has now talked to both of them. Maya does not want to see Chula because Chula doesn't want to see her. And we see the this uh, congregation singing. I love how, how like, Biscuit is 100%, like... He is given it his all. He is he is adorable throughout all these you know yeah, every every time we've seen him he's been adorable. And and Chula has too much on her mind to participate in the singing, and we close on Fisk showing up near Maya and approaching and yeah, really looking forward to seeing what, yeah. And, again, you know, clearly he is looking to communicate with her because he's had chances to have her killed. He could have let Zane take her out, and he didn't have to, you know, he's not, like, going for a gun. It looks like they're alone, but it's possible that he has people around, but, you know... Yeah, he's he's very clearly making the decision to approach her with intent to communicate.